Namaste dear parents for more videos of our children please do subscribe our youtube channel oakwood the rajmundry school don't forget to click bell icon for more updates independence day is indeed a historic day in our lives as indians it's an absolute honor for me to welcome you all to witness the patriotic spirit in our tiny oaks we shall start this with our national song and for this i request y surya teja of grade 4 to sing vande mataram i'm surya teja studying in fourth class of good school today i'm singing vande mataram vande mataram vande Now I request a honorable director sir Sri Vai Ramarajaru to pause the plan Muhammad Iqbal widely known as Allama Iqbal is best remembered in India as the man who penned one of the most patriotic ever song ever written Sare Jahan Se Acha I request Tanvi Devata of grade 5 to sing this song celebrating the 75th independence day of our nation and on this occasion i wish you all a happy independence day today the roads and organizations are fully enhanced with the tricolor but few are the people who understand the real importance of it independence day is the most significant day in the history of india it reminds us 
about the sacrifice and the very hard battle that our freedom fighters have done in order to achieve the independence and make our motherland free. We are fortunate enough to be born on this independent India. Every year we celebrate this day with a great enthusiasm and a patriotic spirit. Unfortunately, since last year, due to the pandemic, we are forced to celebrate this national festival through virtual mode. Technology could help us to some extent in this aspect. Some activities are being planned for our children and I really appreciate all the students who have participated in this activity and shown your patriotic spirit. So a big congratulations to all of you. Are we truly justifying the hard work and the sacrifice that our freedom fighters have done? We have to rethink and work towards the development of our nation. Now let's all stand united to fight the pandemic which the entire world is facing right now. So this is a situation, this is really a great situation where we, the people of the nation, has to stand together to fight this pandemic. And I take the occasion to salute all the frontline workers, doctors, nursing staff, policemen and the municipal department people who, sec who really are working or doing a great job to save our lives. So let's all wish to see a day where the entire world is free from this pandemic. So wish you all a happy Independence Day once again. Jai Hind. Now we have Pravalika of grade 9. She is going to speak about how the Britishers entered India, conquered it and the independence struggle. Here we go. Good morning India. This is Pralika of grade 9 and today I am here to tell about how the British entered India, how did they conquer different regions, how did the independence struggle begin and finally how did we gain independence. In 1600, the East India Company acquired a charter from Queen Elizabeth granting it the sole right to trade with the East. With the help of this charter, the East India Company came to India. However, the East India Company bribed several officials to give trade concessions. This made the Bengal Nawab Siraj Daula angry and his demands led to conflicts which culminated in the Battle of Plassey. The annexation of Indian states by the British was from 1757 to 1857. The British government appointed residents, introduced several policies and resorted wars to gain several kingdoms. The British government gained more than half of India by the end of 1857. After 100 years of conquest and administration, the East India Company faced a massive popular rebellion which started in May 1857. Sepoys mutinied due to unbearable army conditions. They secret support from Mughal Emperor Bahadur Shah Zafar. Several other rulers such as Jansi Lakshmi Bai, Nana Saheb, Tantia Top joined the rebellion. But the British slowly suppressed the rebellion by bringing more and more army from England and killing one ruler after another. The British regained control over India by the end of 1859. The need for an All India organization was felt since 1818. Thus, the Indian National Congress was formed in December 1885. In 1915, Mahatma Gandhi returned to India. He led successful movements such as the Khilafat Agitation, Non-Cooperation Movement, Dhandi March, etc. In 1929, people started demanding for Purna Swaraj. In 1935, the British government prescribed provincial autonomy and announced elections to the provinces. The Congress formed a government in 7 out of 11 provinces. In 1942, Mahatma Gandhi decided to initiate the Quit India movement. Meanwhile, the Muslim League started demanding for independent states for Muslims. In 1946, elections were held again and the League's success in Muslim majority areas persisted its demand for Pakistan. The Congress was unable to stop this due to its failure to mobilize Muslim masses. The British sent a three-member machine to investigate this demand and to suggest a suitable political framework for free India. 
द मिशन आयास एजेस्टेड दैट इंडिया शुड रिमेन यूनाइटेड एंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूट इट सेल्फ एज ए लूज कॉन्फेडरेशन विद सम ऑटोनॉमी फॉर मुस्लिम मेजोरिटी एरियाज नेदर द लीग नॉर द कांग्रेस एग्रीड टू एट रन नाउ द पार्टीशन बिकेम इन एविटेबल सून द ब्रिटिश लेफ्ट द कंट्री ऑन फिफ्टींथ ऑगस्ट नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन इंडिया बिकेम इंडिपेंडेंट विद द बर्थ ऑफ अ न्यू कंट्री पाकिस्तान जॉय ऑफ अर इंडिपेंडेंस केम विद द पेन एंड वायलेंस ऑफ द पार्टीशन and this is the huge struggle behind the freedom which we enjoy today however we should remember one thing independence is not the end of the struggle it is just the beginning of the greatest challenge and lastly i wish you all a very happy independence day jai hind welcome now your sridhi of grade 7 to speak about our national flag Hi everyone my name is navesh hindi i am studying in 7th class today i'm going to say about our national flag three colors when we look up to the sky three colors make us hold our heads up high the saffron of the rising arising from the morning sun in the afternoon the white sailing clouds that run in the evening the green of bearing plants in the breeze our hearts fill with pride at these three colors the saffron gives us courage and inspires self sacrifice the white for us is peace and honesty the green is festive life and it means prosperity the central wheel is dharma for entirety from the north and from the south of this great ancient land from the east and from the west together we all stand let's revise the flag that is our mark of unity our identity our noble dignity jai hind Chandrasekhar Azad an Indian revolutionary who organized and led a band of militant youth he is one of the brave and courageous freedom fighters seen by the mother india we have aryaman patnaik of grade 5 to speak a few words about azad main aryaman kaksha 5 ka chhatra hu aaj ke is swatantrata divas par main desh prem veerta aur saas ke paraya chandrasekhar azad ji ke bare mein kuch batana chahunga चंद्रशेखर आजाद तेईस जुलाई 1906 मध्य प्रदेश के अलीराजपुर जिले के भावरे में जन्म लिया था मात्र 14 वर्ष की आयु में उन्होंने गांधी जी के असहयोग आंदोलन से जुड़े थे 14 वर्ष में ही वह गिरफ्तार हुए आजाद ने 1928 में लाहौर में ब्रिटिश पुलिस एस पी सौंडस को गोली मारकर लाला लाजपात राय की मौत का बल्ला लिया था आजाद एक क्रांतिकारी संगठन हिंदुस्तान रिपब्लिक एसोसिएशन का हिस्सा थे वो राम प्रसाद बिस्मिल के नेतृत्व के काकोरी काम के सक्रिय भाग लिए थे चंद्रशेखर आजाद कहते थे दुश्मन की गोलियां का हम सामना करेंगे आजाद ही रहे हैं आजाद ही रहेंगे अलाहाबाद का आसन पाक को आखिर चढ़ा थे जहाँ उन्होंने आखिर सांस ली अपने प्रण को उन्होंने आखिर तक निभाया और अंग्रेजों के हाथ जिंदा नहीं आए चंद्रशेखर आजाद कहते थे चिंगारी आजादी की सुगी मेरे जश्न में है इंकलाब की ज्वालाएं लिपटी मेरे बदन में है मौत जहां जन्नत हो ये बात मेरे बदन में है कुर्बानी का जज्बा जिंदा मेरे कफन में है जय हिंदे मन अंता उकटे अंटू मन मुझे प्रगाढ़ स्ने मूडो तरगत नीचे
Now we have Rudrana Choudhury with a short speech on Independence Day. Day, honorable guests, worthy principal, respect, respected teachers, and all my dear friends. Happy Independence Day to all. Honorable sir, I am Rudrana Choudhury Garapati. It is an honor for me to present a short speech on Independence Day with you. Today is a historic day in the history of our country. This day reminds us the true worth and importance as freedom loving brave nation dear sir the freedom that we are enjoying today is the results of decades long struggles made by our forefathers and our great leaders many freedom fighters sacrificed their lives for the independence dear sir we are an independent progressive and powerful country of the world today we have the world's largest democracy our people are brave and bold dear brothers and sisters on this day we have to make a promise with our land that we will defend the that we will defend the honor and integrity of our land in every situation we will work hard to bring success in every field let's unite and work hard for our goals with unity we will surely achieve our goals thank you jai hind jai bharat Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel, the Iron Man of India, the Indian barrister who played a significant role in our Indian independence. Now we have Vaishnavi of Grade Eight and Mithil Ramchandran of Grade Five to speak about him. Hello everyone, this is Art Mithil from Class Five, and I am going to speak about Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel on the occasion of 75th Independence Day celebrations. Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel is also known as the Iron Man of India. He is remembered as a very strong and dynamic freedom fighter of India. He was one of the most eminent and prominent leaders in the Indian freedom struggle. He has immense contribution to bring independence to our country. He was born in 1875, the countryside of Gujarat, and earned the title Sardar after his heroic contribution in Bharat Ali Satyagraha. Due to his brave endeavors, he was remembered as the Iron Man of India. Sardar Patel was originally a lawyer, but he joined freedom fight to represent India against British rulers. He was appointed as a fourteen president president of Indian National Congress and succeeded in promoting the Quit India movement against British. He became the deputy prime minister of India after the independence and dedicated himself to integrate five hundred princely states into one union in India. As first home minister and deputy prime minister of India, he led the task of forging a united India and successfully integrating a newly independent nation. Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel strongly believed that it is a prime responsibility of every Indian citizen to feel that his country is free and to defend it is our duty. He also felt that they should forget that he is a Sikh, a Rajput, or a Marathi, and remember that we are all Indians and we have every right in our country. The Statue of Unity, the world's tallest statue, was dedicated to him at Gujarat on 31st October 2018 at approximately 597 feet in height. As a citizen of India, I feel proud that we got freedom of India due to the sacrifices made by the great leaders like Sardar Patel. I salute to this great leader wholeheartedly. Thank you, Jai Hind. Respected principal sir, teachers, and my dear friends, first of all, a very happy Independence Day. I am Vaishnavi of Grade Nine, and I am here to tell about Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel. Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel is a great freedom fighter of our country. He was born on 31st October 1875 in Hyderabad in Gujarat, and he breathed his last on. Fifteen, fifteen December, nineteen fifty in Mumbai. Patel is a follower of Mahatma Gandhi. He played a vital role in India's in in Quit India movement and in India's freedom struggle. He is a well-known leader in Indian National Congress, and he is a founding father of independent India. He is also called the Iron Man of India, as he united uh, the five sixty-two princely states. Uh, which were independent after the after the independent India came to our hands. Uh, during that time, it was thought as it was thought uh, as it's impossible to uh, unite these princely states and um, make them into a single country. But Patel made it possible. Soon after the independence, he became the first deputy prime minister and the home minister of India. He is always against the discriminations. Uh, On the basis of uh, caste, religion, creed, status, etc. On his uh, on his birth anniversary, every year it is celebrated as uh, Rashtra Ekta Divas. Jai Hind. Thank you. Rivu Rivu na yeguru tundi mana rangu rangula janda. Antu 
మనం ముందుకు వస్తున్నది సోహిత జ్ఞాన సాయి ఐదవ తరగతి నుంచి Raj is my birthright and I shall have it. These are the, this is the slogan given by Bala Gangadhar Tilak. And we have S. Nivya of grade 10 to speak a few words about Bala Gangadhar Tilak. Greetings everyone, this is Nivya of class 10. India became independent after lots of hardship and sacrifice of brave Indian freedom fighters. One such freedom fighter was Bala Gangadhar Tilak. He was the first leader of Indian independence movement and was famously known as the father of unrest. Tilak had a long political career agitating for Indian autonomy from British colonial rule. He was opposed to moderate ways and views and had a more radical and aggressive stance against British rule. Balagangadha Tilak used Hindu scriptures to rouse the people to fight oppression. He stressed on the need for self-rule and believed that without self-rule no progress was possible. He also gave the famous slogan, Swaraj is my birthright and I shall have it. He propagated the Swadeshi movement and encouraged people to boycott foreign goods. In order to promote the movement, Tilak, along with Jamshanji Dada, established Swadeshi stores. Tilak published two newspapers, Kesar and Maharada, in which he criticized the British government without any fear. There were many such freedom fighters who fought for Indian independence. And that is the reason today we are able to live in a free and an independent Indian nation. Thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity and I wish everyone a very happy independence day. Bhagat Singh, one of the youngest hero who sacrificed his life for the independence struggle and influenced many people to fight for the freedom of the motherland. Now we have Rishendranath of grade 4 and Ridhima of grade 5 to speak a few words about Bhagat Singh. Hello everyone, this is Rishendranath of grade 4. Today I am for you all to speak a few words about Bhagat Singh. Bhagat Singh was born in 1907 at Punjab which is a part of Pakistan now. He felt that Scott, a British police officer, was the responsible for the death of Lala Rajpatrai. So he developed a strong desire to kill Scott. He and his associate Raj Guru were sentenced to death for killing the British officer. The place where Bhagat Singh was cremated on the bank of river Satras became Pakistani territory during partition. Later it was transferred to India in exchange of 12 villages. It's a great opportunity to remember the, such a hero on wish you all a happy independence day thank you for giving me this great opportunity wish you all a happy independence day jai hind good evening one and all i am ridhima from fifth class today i am going to speak about one of the greatest freedom fighters shahid bhagat singh he was born on 20th September 1907 in a Jat family in Punjab. He was born in a family of freedom fighters. His father and uncle were fully involved in the struggle of, for independence of India. Being born and brought up in such an environment, 
it was all it was all running in his blood in support of gandhi ji to boycott all the government addicted institutions he left his school at a young age of 13 later he joined national college of lahore where he learned about european revolutionary acts which motivated him a lot the turning the turning time of his life, life was 19 19 the turning point of his life was when a britisher killed a britisher named james scott killed a killed a freedom fighter lala lajput raj he went on a hunger strike for 116 days in the prison to fight against the inhuman habit of his fellow prisoners he was he 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 was ex- executed on 23rd march 1931 he was he was smiling before he was hung Now, today we we remember him as shahid bhagat singh thank you భారత మాతకు జయ జయలు అంటూ కే సహస్ర చౌదరి ఆరో తరగతి నుంచి మనం ముందుకు వస్తుంది అందరికీ నమస్కారం నా పేరు సహస్ర చౌదరి నేను ఆరో తరగతి ఓపుల్ పాఠశాలలో చదువుతున్నాను నేను ఈ రోజు ఒక పాట పాడబోతున్నాను భారత మాతకు జయ జయలు బంగారు భూమికి జయ జయలు భారత మాతకు జయ జయలు బంగారు భూమికి జయ జయలు ఆసేతు హిమాచల సస్యశ్యామ జీవదాంత్రికి జై జైలు ఆసేతు హిమాచల సస్యశ్యామ జీవదాంత్రికి జై జైలు భారత మాతకు జై జైలు బంగారు భూమికి జై జైలు భారత మాతకు జై జైలు బంగారు భూమికి జై జైలు త్రివేణి షా త్రివేణి సంగముల పవిత్ర భూమి నాలుగు వేదముల పుట్టిన భూమి త్రివేణి సంగముల పవిత్ర భూమి నాలుగు వేదముల పుట్టిన భూమి గీతామృతముల పంచిన భూమి పంచశీల బోధించిన భూమి గీతామృతముల పంచిన భూమి పంచశీల బోధించిన భూమి భారత మాతకు జై జైలు బంగారు భూమికి జై జైలు భారత మాతకు జై జైలు బంగారు భూమికి జై జైలు ధన్యవాదములు Now we have Sahiti of grade 8 to speak a few words about Independence Day. Good evening everybody. My name is Sahiti. I am from 8th grade. Today I am here to say an important speech on Independence Day. Independence Day is celebrated on 15th August 1947 as a remark of independence for Indians from the British rules. On this day, so many of our people and freedom fighters had left their life for in the struggles for the independence of India. We must be glad and salute and even proud of them. And this Independence Day is celebrative for them to remark of their believings and also their memories of India. And also guys, this is done with the unity of them all. So unity means to be being together. If you be unity, unpossibility will be possibility. And also now our India is a democratic country. means the government is ruled by us with our own rights and everything etc and also we are having sovereign secular um democratic fraternity republic and what not in our country we have rights to do anything in our country as good as we can and next we are glad of our golden past which we had for india and we are having in our heart feeling as patriotism and even nationalism for our country so this day is celebrated as a salute mark for those freedom fighters as well as the people who had suffered for the struggles of independence day so we must be very proud of it that they had given their life for the independence independence of india from the british rules i would say that these freedom fighters did a great very job for giving us independence day till now 
it's a very glad thing and we are proud of our india all the time so happy independence day guys thank you jai hind please welcome ram siddharth of grade 8 to express his views about independence day namaste everyone my name is k ram siddharth reddy studying a class from okud daraj mandri school we all feel really proud to be an indian and now we are celebrating our 75th independence day of our country long back 1947 we got our independence only because of our struggle of our freedom fighters it is important to remember each of them today and we all celebrate independence day as our national festival independence day is observed throughout india with lots of uh, with lots of uh, flag hoisting ceremonies lots of cultures cultural events and parades there is a big celebration each year in new delhi at rajpath where the national anthem is sung after the prime minister hosts the flag there are uh, there are lots of cultural events and flower shedding and also indian defense service conducts a parade on this day 15th august is not only about freedom it also reminds us the pain of being enslaved and the strength of unity and it also defines the sacrifices and it is our responsibility as a proud citizens of our country to sincerely perform our duties and progress together for the growth and development of our country on this day we will take an oath that we, sh- we will always with our motherland till our last breath once more wishing you very happy independence day to all thank you for thank you for this opportunity jai hind dr b r ambedkar is an indian jurist economist politician and a social reformer now we have a balu of seven standard to speak a few words about ambedkar to the lovely friends and to the respected teachers and balu from grade 7 i came to say few points on dr baba saheb ambedkar dr baba saheb ambedkar was the one of the greatest leader on indian history he was born on 14 april 1891 in madhya pradesh india his full name was bhim rao ram ji ambedkar he was the first law minister of independent india he is called as father of indian constitution most mostly awarded the highest civilian of the world bharat ratna in 1990 thank you for giving me this opportunity have a nice day and here comes chandana tripathi of grade 7 to sing a hindi patriotic song i am chandana tripathi i will sing a patriotic song kal var pe sar var diye angaro pe jism jalaya hai tab ja ke kahi humne sar pe ye kesari rang sajaya hai ye meri zameen afsos nahi jo tere liye so dard se mehfus rahe teri aan sata chahe meri jaan rahe na rahe ye meri zameen mehboob meri mere nas nas mein tera ishq bahe pika na bade tera rang kabhi jismo se nikal kar khoon kahe tere mitti mein mil jaawa gul ban ke main khil jaawa itni si hai dil 
Begum Hazrat Mahal or Begum of Awadh was one of the India's first female freedom fighter. And now we have M. Satvika of Great Ten to speak a few words about her. Hello everyone, this is Satvika of 10 class. Today I'm going to share a small story of Begum Hazrat Mahal. She was a great freedom fighter who played an important role in India's first war of independence. She was also known as Begum of Awadh who rebelled against British East India Company during the revolt of 1857 and seized the control over Lucknow. She raised voice against East India Company for destroying Hindu and Muslim places of faith. With the British taking over Lucknow, she refused to Nepal. The British government tried to pursue her through many ways like through money and status but they failed to move her a bit from her dignity and patriotism. The Indian government issued a commemorative stamp in order to pay respect to the brave soul. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Happy Independence Day. And here it's Catherine William of grade 8 to express her opinion about Independence Day. It's Catherine William of grade 8 to express her opinion about Independence Day. Hello everyone. My name is Catherine William. I'm studying 8 class in Oakwood School. We know we got independence in 1947 on August 15th. Many had sacrificed their lives for us. Britishers has ruled 200 years on our country. And Mangal Pandey was the first to fight for our freedom. He was born on 19th July 1827 and died on 8th April 1857. He was an Indian soldier and a brave-hearted person. Freedom is in our mind and faith in our heart and pride is in our soul and love for the nation in our own blood. I love my country, not because it's free, but it's my own country. A warm happy wishes to you all. Jai Hind. Raghupati Raghava Raja Ram Antu Tana Chitti Putti Palakula Tho Manam Undi Goshtundi Kavya Srishika Nalago Tharavati Nundi. My name is Kavya Srishika. I am studying 4th class. Raghupati Raghava Desam Manade, Tejam Manade, and to Manamundukostundi, Sonal Afia, Nalgotar Gatundi. My name is Sonal Afia. I am studying food standard. My school name is Ogwood, the Rajamundi School. Today I am singing a song. Nana ni nana, nana ni nana, nana 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 nana. Desam Manade, Tejam Manade. Desham manade, tejam manade, eguru tunna janda manade, nirti manade, jati manade, nirti manade, jati manade, prajalanna danda manade, andala bandam undi nelalo, atmiya ragam undi galilo. Good morning to all my respected teachers and my dear friends. At the first, let me wish you all a very happy Independence Day. We got independence on 15th August 1947 from British rules. 
We should celebrate this day with a great spirit. We should remember the, our great leaders like Mahatma Gandhi ji, Subhash Chandra Bosch, Jawaharlal Nehru and others. A peaceful life that we are living today is because of their sacrifices. Let's all work together to make our country the best country in the world. We should celebrate this day with a great joy. Jai Hind! Jhansi Lakshmi Bhai is one of the bravest female Indian freedom fighters. And here we have Lasya to speak a few words about Jhansi Lakshmi Bhai. Good afternoon all. I am Lasya from 6th class in Oakwood School. Today I am going to tell about Rani Lakshmi Bai, the renowned freedom fighter. Rani Lakshmi Bai of Jhansi, who is also known as Manika or Manu, is one of the famous freedom fighters during the first part of independence in 1857. She grew up under the care of Nana Saheb. At an early age, Manika Nika was married to Gangadhar Rao, who is the then ruler of Jhansi. As soon as Gangadhar became seriously ill, the couple have adopted a son, Damodar, as they have no son on their own. Lord Dalhousie, who is the general governor, who is following doctrine of lapse, refused to accept Damodar as a successor to the throne of Gangadhar. But Rani Lakshmi Bai is not going to give the throne of Jan so soon. She used to burn her head to the Austrian and cunning British fire. When the British attacked the court of Jansi, he was surprised to see the swan in the hands of the queen. Certainly she could not dominate British fire, but she fought until her last breath and gave up her life for the sake of freedom. Thank you everyone and have a happy Independence Day. Now we have Rishwita J of grade 8 to speak the importance of independence this year. Good morning to all. I am Jay Rahita of Class 8. First of all, Happy Independence Day. Today, I would like to share some words about the speciality of this year's Independence Day. This Independence Day is very unique as in the history of Olympics, India has won more number of medals than ever. Sri Neera Chopra had won the gold medal in the track and field event javelin throw. He is a junior commission officer in the Indian Army. He made India proud. On the contrary to this happy thing, our India has been suffering with waves of corona for the last two years and is still reeling with these waves. In spite of all this struggle, our India is moving forward and I hope we will win this soon with proper vaccination and by preventing the spread of corona. I also hope that the next Independence Day will be free from this corona. Our positive thinking and positive actions will always lead us to the success and the better future of India. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Now it's Jay Amrita of grade 9 to share her opinion regarding the Independence Day. Good morning everyone, I am Amrita. Today I am here to give a speech on Independence Day. Independence is a celebration of freedom that we won from British rule on August 15, 1947. On this day, we are celebrating 75th independence. With the sense of pride, I can say that our great leaders fought hard to achieve freedom. 200 years of British rule, their operations and injustice had came to an end on midnight of August 14, 1947. In these 74 years, we can see the progresses of our great country in all spheres of life, from agriculture to industry and from the planet Earth to the outer spaces. In these 74 years, we can also see Famine, droughts, floods, poverty, disease, spreading corruption, terrorism and discrimination. These are the negative aspects of freedom. As we see in this year 2021 and the past year 2020, our country and many other countries are fighting with the coronavirus. And most of the countries around the world including India are finding cases and also experiencing these outbreaks. Hence, uh, I feel that to isolate with even minor symptoms. Stay home and stay safe. And also the economic impact of 2021 and 2020 in India is largely disruptive. During lockdown, an estimated 14 crore people have lost the employment and for others, the salaries were cut. 
hence i feel it is the responsibility of every citizen to make india strong in all aspects so let us be one united we stand divided we fall jai hind jai bharat we come to the end of this event thank you everyone for your wonderful support and i congratulate all the participants of various activities the performances of remaining students will also be made as a video and we shall upload in our school youtube channel now we conclude this event with our national anthem and for this i request jignas reddy of grade 3 to sing national anthem